So what, what we have um, proposed and what we've developed, um, you click that next one, is something that um, tries to cater, tries to um, encourage positive focused conversations, provides uninterrupted access, and it's simple. Um, and these, these, what I'm describing is, is, is an online platform where beyond the 7 o'clock community meeting where you had to miss the first one because Little Billy had soccer practice or Jamie had dance class. <laughs> if you miss the first one, you're probably not going to the second, maybe the third, but the fourth, where the rendering is put on the front page of the newspaper, where everybody shows up with their torches and their pitchforks. <laughs> they raise up. And on the, that's you know where you should feel sorry for the consultant, is that they've had these meetings, and no one's come to them. And then at the very last one, once it's been publicized, everybody freaks out. And that's when an alderman or an to official has to take a step back and say, oh my god. There are plenty of examples of this, and I won't bore you with too many of them, but it, it happens all too often, and it costs a lot of money. Um, you know that? OK, that's, that's us. <coughs> and so it, it's, it's a bit like a, a pyramid scheme. You know, a developer comes in with a, with a concept that they want to put on a, some lot or do something with some building. And then they you know, try to pass muster with the elected leader um, or some city staff person. And then that will eventually work its way out to the community. Um, if you go to the next one. Uh, we want to flip that script. Um, so we're going to go to the community first. And I think this is something that was actually in some ways described um, from the individual from CFT earlier. The idea that we're going to go to them first, we're going to ask them what their interests are, what the problems they face are, what the issues and the opportunities are in their neighborhood. And then it's going to build a critical mass around that idea. And I'll show you how that, how that works a little bit better. And then we're going to go to the elected leader and say, this is what needs to happen. This is what your neighborhood would be behind. Um, you have enough um, political ammunition behind you to then go seek out those that can implement. And from the developer side of things, um, you know, especially those that have come up against the community in the past, you know, knowing from experience that these guys want to make money, we all want to make some money to live day to day. Uh, but the, the bottom line is the most important thing, whether it's red brick or yellow brick. Um, or a certain type of lawn or a certain type of window. window. And it, it's not as important as just making sure it reaches the bottom line. Probably. So if the community can come to them with something that works, instead of being adversarial, um, it says, we will do this. Um, or we are behind this. We support this. Um, and the elected leader says, ah, oh, that's fantastic. I, I can get behind that. Then they can go out and see the people that can do the good things the right way for the people in there. Uh, if you go to the next one. I say you got cut off, but one of our points was that, as I mentioned earlier, um, municipalities are already spending a lot of money. Um, so this isn't something new, we're just going to get the bottom two times. Anyway, uh, go to the next one. Uh, I missed my animation. 